Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Tahlequah, Cherokee, is a city in Cherokee County, Oklahoma, United States located at the foothills of the Ozark Mountains. It is part of the Green Country region of Oklahoma and was established as a capital of the 19th century Cherokee Nation in 1839, as part of the new settlement in Indian Territory after the Cherokee Native Americans were a forced west from the American Southeast on the Trail of Tears. The city's population was 15,753 at the 2010 census, an increase of 8.96% from 14,458 at the 2000 census. The 2014 estimated population is 16,496. It is the county seat of Cherokee County. The main campus of Northeastern State University is located in the city. Tahlequah is the capital of the two federally recognized Cherokee tribes based in Oklahoma the United Quitoa Band of Cherokee Indians and the modern Cherokee Nation. Many linguists believe the word Tahlequah, Tahlequah, and the word Tahlequo are the same as Deliqua, the Cherokee word for grain or rice. See Cherokee Nation Lexicon, Dikonesdi, at Cherokee.org under culture slash language. Scholars report the Cherokee word Deliqua describes a type of native grain with a red hue that grew in the flat open areas of East Tennessee. One area, Great Teleco, Teleco Plains, Tennessee, was named for the grass with therid seed tops. Others interpret a word Telequa as plains, however, there is no word for plains in the Cherokee lexicon, and the word Telequa is not found in the lexicon. The idea that Telequa means plains lends way to the belief that the name refers to the wide open grassy areas of Great Teleco. Local legend states the name is derived from Cherokee words Tali and Yiliku meaning just two or two is enough apostrophe. Supposedly three tribal elders had planned to meet to determine the location of the Cherokee Nation's permanent capital. Two elders arrived and waited for the third. As dusk approached, they decided that two is enough, or Tali Yiliku which later became Anglicanized Italiqua. According to tribal elders and Cherokee County elders, this legend first began to circulate in the 1930s. Tahlequah was a settlement as early as 1832. After the Western Cherokee agreed in 1834 to let the newer migrants settle near them, they joined their government with the Eastern Cherokee at Tahlequah in 1839. Tahlequah was named long before it was chosen as the Cherokee capital. In 1839, Tahlequah was designated the capital of ancestors of both the Cherokee Nation and the United Quitoa Band of Cherokee Indians. Initially, the government buildings were a complex of log or frame structures. Most of these buildings were destroyed during the Civil War, during which the Cherokee became divided into two bitterly opposing sides. After the war, a brick capital was built and first occupied in 1870. In 1907, at the time of Oklahoma statehood, the building was converted into the Cherokee County Courthouse. It was returned to the Cherokee Nation in 1970. Several markers of Cherokee and Native American heritage are found in town. Street signs and business signs are noted in both the Cherokee language and English. Such signs use the syllabary created by Sequoia, a Cherokee scholar of the 1820s who created the writing system. The Cherokee Supreme Court Building, located in downtown Tahlequah and constructed in 1844, is the oldest public building in Oklahoma. Tahlequah is located at 35.9153700. Minus 94.9699560. The city has a total area of 12.45 square miles, 32.2 square kilometers, all land. As of the 2010 census, there were 15,753 people, 6,111 households, and 3,351 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,312.75 per square mile. 506.5 per square kilometer. There were 6,857 housing units at an average density of 571.4 per square mile, 220.5 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 53.8% white, 2.4% African American, 30.0% Native American, 1.3% Asian, 0.0% Pacific Islander. 3.7% from other races, and 8.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 9.8% of the population. Out of 6,111 households, 25.9% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 35.5% were married couples living together, 14.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 45.2% were non-families. 
34.3% of all households were made up of individuals and 10.9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.31 and the average family size was 2.99. In the city, the population was spread out with 21.1% under the age of 18, 23.6% from 18 to 24, 24.3% from 25 to 44. 18.5% from 45 to 64, and 12.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 27.8 years. For every 100 females, there were 93.7 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 91.2 males. As of 2013, the median household income was $29,114 and the median family income was $43,940. Males had a median income of $32,475 versus $27,939 for females. The per capita income for the city was $17,003. About 20.7% of families and 33.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 43.2% of those under age 18 and 21.8% of those age 65 or over. Many people in Tahlequah speak Cherokee and there is a Cherokee Language Immersion School in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, that educates students from preschool through 8th grade with the Cherokee language as the medium of instruction, and no English. Education within the Tahlequah city limits consists of one early learning center serving students in pre-K, Sequoia, three elementary schools serving students in kindergarten through 4th grade, Greenwood, Cherokee, and Heritage, one middle school with grades 5 through 8, Tahlequah Middle School and one high school with grades 9 to 12, Tahlequah High School. Tahlequah High School serves as the main high school within the county as well and is fed by other rural pre through 8th grade schools within Cherokee County. The Cherokee Language Immersion School in Tahlequah, Oklahoma educates students from preschool through 8th grade. Because Oklahoma's official language is English, Cherokee immersion students are hindered when taking state-mandated tests because they have little competency in English. The Department of Education of Oklahoma said that in 2012 state tests, 11% of the school 6th graders showed proficiency in math, and 25% showed proficiency in reading, 31% of the 7th graders showed proficiency in math, and 87% showed proficiency in reading, 50% of the 8th graders showed proficiency in math, and 78% showed proficiency in reading. The Oklahoma Department of Education listed the charter school as a targeted intervention school, meaning the school was identified as a low-performing school but has not been identified as a priority school. Ultimately, the school made a C, or a 2.33 grade point average on the state's AF report card system. The report card shows the school getting an F in mathematics achievement and mathematics growth, a C in social studies achievement, a D in reading achievement, and an A in reading growth and student attendance. The C we made is tremendous, said school principal Holly Davis, T here is no English instruction in our school's younger grades, and we gave them this test in English. She said she had anticipated the low grade because it was the school's first year as a state-funded charter school, and many students had difficulty with English. Eighth graders who graduate from the Tahlequah Immersion School are fluent speakers of the language, and they usually go on to attend Sequoia High School where classes are taught in both English and Cherokee. Northeastern State University is the oldest institution of higher learning in the state of Oklahoma as well as one of the oldest institutions of higher learning west of the Mississippi River. Tahlequah is home to the capital of the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma and about 25% of the students at NSU identify themselves as American Indian. The university has many courses focused on Native American linguistics, and offers Cherokee language education as a major. Cherokee can be studied as a second language, and some classes are taught in Cherokee for first language speakers as well. Tahlequah is the principal location in Larry McMurtry's Net and Seek. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.